I think prizes and competitions present NASA with a huge opportunity to put a new tool in our tool belt as an agency to think about how we engage with people outside of NASA to solve problems. So traditionally, we've had a few different ways that we've worked with folks outside of NASA, contracts, grants, Space Act agreements. Prizes are a whole new way for us to think about engaging people towards our exploration mission. So I would hope that we would leverage prizes a lot more in the future to think about allowing people outside of government to come and work with us in new and interesting ways that they haven't had an opportunity before because they're not a registered contractor or an eligible grantee or um, a member of a university at this time in their life. So to me, I think there's a lot of ingenuity out there in the American people, and I would love to think about ways that we could tap into all of that through leveraging prize competitions to get us closer towards our exploration objectives. NASA's using prizes and challenges in a variety of, di of different ways for a variety of really, really good benefits. The three primary benefits that we're seeing at NASA include bringing new perspectives and new disciplines to bear on problems that we've had for a long time, number one. Number two, bringing in folks other than just the usual suspects to work with NASA on solving our problems. And third, really, really seeing cost effectiveness and leverage on taxpayer dollars that so we're getting maximum bang for a buck on the money that we're spending. So a few examples of that are a prize competition that we actually ran to try to figure out how to protect, uh, protect astronauts from radiation in space a bit better. And interestingly, the solution that ended up winning that particular prize competition came from a retired radio frequency engineer in New Hampshire uh, that had never really worked with NASA on a problem before, but whose expertise, when applied to this problem, was able to get us to an algorithm that predicted solar flares eight hours in advance to an 85% accuracy, which was pretty remarkable. And there are many, many other examples of NASA seeing great results from our use of prize competitions. And there are several ways, actually, now that the public can get involved. We have several platforms that the public can visit and participate in NASA prize competitions. One is called the NASA Tournament Lab. The second is the NASA Innovation Pavilion. And the third that you can read more about at www.nasa.gov backslash challenges is the Centennial Challenges Program.